we're going to see how Changing Lives Community Services achieves the optimum amount of posts on Facebook. If you have any questions, please use the blue button inside maybe as it connects you to us all 24-7 and we love to help. So let's just have a look here at their Facebook page. So Changing Lives Community Services is a community organisation that helps vulnerable children get involved in sport and other activities. And when looking at their Facebook page, um, there's a number of things that jump out that they do extremely well. But one of those is the consistency in how often they post. Um, so they post regularly, but not too often. And if, if you do a quick Google search or, or look it up in any other way, most sources agree that one to two times a day is the optimum amount to post on Facebook. And they really do achieve that pretty consistently. They don't they don't tend to go more than um, a couple of days without posting. They tend to post in the week um, and most days they post twice. So the consistency is really apparent. And, and that's really important on social media because those optimal amounts are basically what has been proven to be the amount to post to get the optimum amount of engagement without your followers feeling like they're hearing from you too often or not enough. Um, and as I said, on Facebook, it's one to two times a day, and they really do achieve that extremely well. Um, so lots of images um, about what's happening at the centre. They always see good amounts of engagement on their posts, which shows that the content is going down very well. But it's a nice variation. So you've got images of what's happening. They also share content from other feeds that's relevant to their audience. They'll update their audience about um, just events that are happening at the centre said lots of images um, about what is happening which is obviously what one of the things that people would follow the feed for um, but it is a really nice variation of content um, on here um, they also tag in relevant of the feeds if the post is relevant to other organizations they will tag them in um, they've got um, obviously fundraising just here so a clear call to action on this post in terms of what to do but also really good use of hashtags so obviously that makes your content searchable so if someone was searching for who is talking about Harlow on Facebook um, this post would obviously appear um, so it's a really really good mix um, they actually achieve and what can we learn from that um, well there's a number of things one is absolutely be consistent so um try and achieve optimum amounts but but just set yourself a realistic target for how often you're going to post so that doesn't have to be the twice a day on facebook you know realistically that you may only be able to achieve posting twice a week but if that's if that's what's realistic for your business um that's absolutely fine just just do that and do that consistently but play around with times to actually post just to see when your followers are most likely to actually engage with you so that might be in the morning it might be at lunchtime it might be in the evening it might be on the weekend um, but you can play around with those times just to see when you achieve higher levels of engagement um, and vary your content um, so as we can see here from changing lives community services they've got a nice mix of content that means that their followers don't feel like they're seeing the same things from them over and over again it's just a nice variation and it's got a really nice friendly, informative, fun feel to this feed. And they really do achieve that very well. Um, so let me show you how the maybe content calendar might be able to help you with achieving that consistency and that right mix. Well, obviously, with a content calendar, you can schedule your content in advance. So it's a big time saver. So obviously, you can schedule a week's content ahead. Um, but also, you can actually make sure that your content is then being um, spread it through the week and is being posted at the times that you feel are optimum for your business. Um, so you can see here, here's Maybe's content calendar. Um, but you can also set to compare your calendar to another organization. So I've actually set this to changing lives just so we can actually see. And that consistency is apparent. So they've obviously figured out that posting in the week um, is what works for them. Um, these darker ones here are the Facebook posts. So again, you can see that consistency of one to two posts a day. So if you've got another feed that you, you aspire to achieve a similar posting schedule to them, you can actually set them here as a competitor calendar and compare your calendar to theirs just to see if it achieves the same look and feel. So it's a really useful tool. Um, 
So I hope that's been useful. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, please use the blue chat button inside maybe as it connects you to us 24 seven. And if you'd like to know more about any of the topics talked about on this video, like uh, hashtags, for example, use the search below and you can find more videos about those. Uh, and I'll see you on another video soon.